Hello and welcome to Union Solidarity International. My name is Walton Pantlin and today we're talking about bananas. What links plantation workers in Cameroon to the supermarkets of Europe? My name is Anna Cooper and I'm the Education and Solidarity Officer for Banana Link. Um, Banana Link campaign to improve working conditions in the banana and pineapple supply chain. So we work with trade unions and small producer organisations in Latin America, West Africa and the Caribbean. And we're currently organising a, a speaker tour with MBD Charles Coote from the uh, Facul Agricultural Workers Union in Cameroon to raise awareness about conditions there for banana plantation workers and um, gather support um, and increase networks for the, the, the trade union on the ground. I'm BJ Charles Kude, uh, the General Secretary of FACO Agricultural Workers Union, which is abbreviated as FAU, uh, based in Cameroon. Uh, this is a union which has been there for a very long time trying to see into the working and living conditions of workers in the the various plantations in the uh, FACO division. And what are the conditions experienced by banana workers in Cameroon? Uh, yeah, the, the banana, especially uh, the banana uh, pro, uh, uh, crop, is uh, labor intensive, uh, you know, labor intensive, and also involves uh, the use of uh, extensive and extensive uses of uh, agrochemicals. So the working and living conditions of the banana workers in uh, Cameroon is, especially in FACO division, is not very good. Uh, I think I will take you back a bit because if I say FACO division, you may not understand exactly what I'm talking about. It is good to make this clarification that Cameroon basically uh, uh, is divided into two. Uh, one part of Cameroon is speaking is English speaking, and another part is French speaking. And uh, Limbe, who used to be called Victoria in those days, uh, is actually in FACO division. Now, we operate in one of the most uh, uh, biggest uh, agro-industrial uh, complex in Cameroon, which is the Cameroon Development Corporation, which used to be called Commonwealth Development Corporation in those days, now when the British were in control in southern Cameroon. Now, uh, this is a second employer after the government, uh, employing close to 21,000 workers. Now, this corporation uh, operates essentially uh, on three crops. You have the banana, you have the oil palm, and you have the rubber. But I think for this uh, interview, I will concentrate more on bananas because I'm here because of banana. Now, as I said earlier, the banana crop is uh, very, very labor intensive. So you find that uh, most of the work in the banana plantation is done manually. Uh, so you, you have a situation where the workers get up as early as 4 a.m. and they come back home as late as 10, 11 p.m. So you, you see there are some workers who don't have time with their families the whole day because the, the woman or the man leaves the house very early when she are still in bed and come back home when they are asleep. So there's a problem there where uh, you know, this relationship between the man, the worker and the children is absent. You know? Now going to the field, you realize that you have workers there who spend too long, uh, long hours at work, you know, as I said, but effectively uh, they are not paid for all of those hours. You know, uh, in Cameroon, the, uh, the minimum wage is set as 28,000 francs, but through a national collective agreement, it was raised up to about 30,000 francs a month. Now, this wage is not a living wage, but mm -hmm. it's a minimum wage, it's not a living wage, because most of the workers actually need more than three times that amount in order to live normally. So you have a situation where the workers are actually living in misery. Misery because uh, they cannot afford to have decent accommodation, they live in squalors, most of them, because uh, the corporation pays them 25% of their salaries as a uh, housing allowance. Now, 25% of 30,000 francs is nothing. So, if, if workers cannot afford decent accommodation, so they stay in substandard accommodation where they are exposed to mosquitoes, and uh, because of that, there's a high prevalence of uh, malaria. You, know? you have uh, workers who do like area uh, chemical application where they apply chemicals using bare hands because they're no equipment. They're supposed to have gloves and, and masks you know, to protect themselves, but that is not the case. Occasionally, they provide them, especially when they hear that there are some foreign visitors coming in, they hurriedly buy some of those things which get bad, and that is all about it. So a worker is applying chemicals with bare hands. Now, the effect is there because uh, they, they have rashes on their body, they inhale the chemicals and cause a lot of problems in them, some have eye problems, you know, which is a, a, a real cause for concern, you know. There is also this problem of area spraying because uh, uh, in banana plantations you have what we call area spraying, 
to prevent uh, some diseases, especially Sigatuga. Now, these bananas are supposed to be sprayed when the workers are not in the field. Unfortunately, it's not the case because the, the, spray, the, the plane is spraying the, chem the bananas while the workers are in the field and most of them are exposed to, to the chemicals. It's a serious health hazard. Now, we also have a situation where some of the chemicals which are banned in Europe are still being used in the plantation. Now, this is a very serious problem. So we have to try to raise awareness on things like that because uh, in, in, the, in the end, it's the worker who suffers more. You know? So also about working conditions, uh, you have workers who go to work by a, a bus. They have uh, uh, vehicles that transport workers into the farm. Now, this, these buses are not enough for the workers. So they're always very uh, crowded, overcrowded buses. At times, workers fall off the buses because as they are running to catch the, 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 the lorry, some of them fall and you have the accidents. You know? Now, also, you have a situation where at times, since some of the plantations are a bit far, a worker climbs uh, in the lorry. Before you get to the plantation, it is already uh, late and you will not be allowed to scan in because the time for you to scan in has elapsed. So the worker goes back home that they would have been paid. But it is not the worker's fault anyway because you didn't go to work paying your own transport. You know, so those are some of the problems. You also have situations where most of the women in the plantation some cannot grow to a certain level because uh, uh, the, the, some of them, the, 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 the their immediate bosses, uh, some want sexual uh, favors from them in order to be promoted, and you find some of the women stagnating, you know, because they cannot grow since they cannot give in. It's also a serious problem, you know. You have women, most of the banana workers, are, especially the women, are single mothers. They're single mothers. Now, they cannot afford to hire babysitters to take care of the children at home while they, were, while they are in the plantation. Now, the, the mother, the woman gets up in the morning, goes to the plantation, and the child stays back home alone. Now, what is the effect? You have a lot of delinquency because the children are not cared for, nobody they are not cared for. So, the children grow up becoming delinquents, you know. Also, uh, most, most, of those, most of those children can hardly go to school freely because the, the parents cannot afford to pay the, the, the school fee. Since the money is small, they cannot afford to pay the, the fees for the children. So, you find some of them going to school, you know, on, in and out. Because the children are always sent home because uh, the parents cannot afford to pay the fees, you know. So you have so many of those uh, problems facing the banana workers, and uh, uh, we feel that uh, in order for us to get concrete measures, solutions to those problems, we have to link up with other trade unions, you know, so that they can also come give a helping hand to make sure that that situation is addressed. Now, FACO Agricultural Workers Union have been in existence for a very long time, but we're living in isolation. Uh, thanks to Banana Link that found us and now we're getting the exposure we're having, you know, thanks to Banana Link. And uh, we also want to use this opportunity to link up with many other sister trade unions uh, to see how they can also give a helping hand. Now, one of the problems we, we think is also very serious and which needs immediate attention is that the workers need education. Because most of the workers are not well educated, you know, so that they don't know exactly uh, their rights as workers in the plantation. Despite the fact that as a union we're making an effort, but it's not enough, you know, because we have a situation where the worker and management need to be educated. So we get, we think that this is, this is a dying need, you know, for uh, an education program, whereby the worker will be sufficiently educated on his rights, management will be, will be educated uh, on what they're supposed to do, especially about the respect for uh, social legislation, and that will enhance produ productivity. But once the worker knows his rights and his rights are being respected, he will be urged to work harder and management too will be able to know exactly uh, that with the hard work, the worker can be uh, you know, well compensated. You know. This is a kind of chain which is necessary to enhance productivity, you know, which is for the betterment of both the worker and management. You know. So essentially, those are some of the things we, 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 we thought it necessary to you know, expose to sister trade unions because I know the, the trade union has only one constituency. A trade union is in Cameroon, a trade union is in Ghana, a trade union is in America and Britain. They are all trade unionists and they have only one common goal to see how they can improve on the living and working conditions of the workers. Yeah. And Anna, can you tell us what's the European link? So, yeah, I mean the European link is obviously that we buy bananas directly from Cameroon. Um, a lot of Cameroonian bananas come into the UK via via Asda and a few via, via Tesco's, so there's a direct supply chain link. Um, 
the banana production is expanding in Cameroon, so this is going to become a stronger link over the coming years. So yeah, I think now is really the time to start developing our links with Cameroon and ensuring that as the industry expands in Cameroon, that that is, um, whilst at the same time the, the, the union is increasing in its capacity to organise members on the ground. So um, yeah, we're working with, with FAU in Cameroon to, to try and support their education work on the ground, to raise money to increase their capacity to organise members and to educate members on, on labour rights, on gender equity and in particular on health and safety because that's a, a very important issue at the moment in, in Cameroon, particularly in the banana industry which is dominated by yeah the, the use of toxic agrochemicals. So um, yeah, and we're also trying to uh, support FAWU um, to engage in regional alliances with other with other banana unions, for example, GAWU in, in Ghana, and also to um, exchange experiences with the uh, trade unions that we work with in Latin America, um, because the industry in Latin America has, has been around for, for a lot longer and the trade unions have been around for, for a long time and have a lot of experience. Um, in uh, campaigning and negotiating with the same multinational companies that operate in, in Cameroon. So, so some South-South collaboration? Yeah. Good. And this is a question for both of you. What is the, the one thing that people watching this video can do to help? What's the single most important thing they can do? Uh, there's, there's need for that awareness and uh, I think as I said earlier, there's need for education. It's very, it's very important for uh, education, for the workers to be well educated, for management to be well educated, so they become aware of uh, what the situation is. Then, for example, uh, there is this, uh, which I, I, I just understood a few not long ago, about uh, a fair trade certification. Now, most of uh, the, the banana uh, growing uh, uh, plantations don't know much about fair trade certification. Now, this is an opportunity through education for them to become aware and know the, that the through fair trade, that can help productivity and that can also help you know, improve on the living and working conditions of the workers in the field. And that is why I'm here to make sure with the assistance of Banana Link will get in touch with fair trade uh, uh, certification uh, companies and know exactly uh, what we can gain by being fair trade certified. So what I, what I would like to say is that, uh, you know, uh, like the kind of uh, situation I presented is like, uh, you know, you have workers who are like having... Uh, Slave labor. Now, uh, it is not like uh, trying to you know, prevent people from uh, you know, consuming the bananas from Cameroon. No, what, what we are trying to do is trying to see how uh, we we can help you know the improve on the conditions. Because, for example, uh, Cameroon have is having one of uh, the worst uh, unemployment uh, situations, and if people be caught eating the bananas, the workers go out in the streets. You know, all of them are unemployed. So, what we are trying to do is to make sure that we raise this awareness that. Uh, uh, there's something wrong somewhere and something can be done to improve on the situation, you know. So effectively, uh, we want that uh, we get this awareness, get the workers educated, get management educated so that our products will now be of accepted standards and the working and living conditions, which is the priority, is greatly improved. So yeah, MBD's visit is, is part of Banana Link's Make Fruit Fair campaign, which is a campaign in collaboration with partners in, in France, the Czech Republic and Germany. So it's a European-wide campaign based on raising consumer awareness and increasing um, action uh, to improve working conditions in the banana and pineapple industry. Um, and we have an action mailing list um, which you can uh, join up to on the website which is www.makefruitfair.org.uk um, We also have a YouTube channel, um, Facebook, Twitter, so if you just search Make Fruit Fair um, then you'll find um, how to get involved online. Um, and um, yeah, we have regular campaign campaign actions um, in response to uh, demands from our trade union partners in West Africa but also in, in Latin America and um, yeah there's also a number of um, filmed testimonies from Cameroonian workers, um, short films that you can watch or short union events um, and other, other resources online. So.